Hello there, welcome to Mend Your Home. Today we're going to go through the process of bunging a system and changing a drain cock or putting in a new washer. First thing we need to do is block up that vent pipe over there. And that normally comes in through the top of the uh, F&E tank. We'll then block the supply that supplies um, the radiators with the water, fresh water, if uh, there's ever a leak or anything like that. So as you can see there, it's got a little hole going through to the supply. We're gonna bung that. Now bunging is simply plugging it up with a rubber stopper. It's quite a dangerous thing to do because there's a risk that that plug will just float up. So you've got to sort of push it in and twist. You, you need to get a feel for it. Over here, I'm just uh, lubing up the vent pipe a little bit and I'm I'm using a push fit 22 mil. You can also use a bung on there as well. Right, so we've got my little setup here. As you can see there, that's the first ever 20 quid I made after opening up my business. So we're gonna take a pen and do a little experiment, take that off and we're just left with that. So then we're going to chuck that in water, there's nothing in there. Put that in water, get the water in there, and plug the top. And then we just pull it out, just like that. And you can see no water's coming out. But as soon as I lift the top off, but as soon as I lift the top off, that's how a bung works. So if you think this is the vent pipe, we block the vent pipe, and suddenly there's no water coming out but we've also blocked the other pipe. So we're blocking anywhere that there could be air and it's creating this vacuum. So if I bring this over here, you can see there's water in there. There's just water in there. So I'll bring this over here too. And we'll try and focus on that. There's water in there. And as soon as I, that's it, done. And then there we go, I've got a little drain off. I'm gonna just make sure that the bung has worked. The bung essentially creates a little vacuum. So similar to if you put a straw in water and you put your finger on the top of that straw, it will hold the water in place. And then as soon as you let go, the water comes out of the straw. So the first things first, I'm just checking to make sure that the bung is holding before committing to doing the job. So I'm opening up the uh, drain off I can see that uh, no water's coming out at the moment or whatever was gonna come out has already come out and I'm now ready to commit, but I know that I need to be quick because at any point, if air gets into the system, the vacuum is compromised and water will pour out. So preparation is key here. I, I get the new drain off bit. So that's got the new washer and everything on there. And I prep it, so I'm ready to exchange the two. Now, on some occasions, they don't fit like for like, so be prepared for that. Be prepared to put the old one back in if uh, it fails. So I'm just checking how much water is still in there. And I can see it's just kind of dribbling out, so I know that the bung has, hold, has held, but there might be a bit of water coming out, so I need to be quick in order to stop it from, uh, you know, pouring out. What might happen is if you let the water come out a bit too much, it may actually uh, compromise the vacuum. So you want to sort of get the new bit in as quick as possible. So as you can see there, I'm slowly taking it out. I know that water might come out. But I'm ready to put it back in if it does. So there's two bits to screw. There's the outer and then there's the inner. Now I've had a look at this and I can see that there, there's a bit of the uh, washer missing. So I'm putting in a screwdriver in there just to check if it's blocking up anything and to clean the seat in. So I don't know where the wash has gone, it's perished. I screw in the first bit of uh, the drain cock, then the outer, 
Then all I do is tighten up the outer bit and then re-tighten up the inner. And that's pretty much the job done. The next step now would be checking that the new drain off is actually working. So I'm going to tighten that up and it works just like a tap. You tighten it and uh, it pushes in on the uh, on the seat in. Now I'm trying to do this one handed with the camera pointing at the same time. So if I can do it with one hand while still being a cameraman, you can definitely do it with two hands and all your concentration. Um, so yeah, it's not that difficult of a job. Now I was in and out of here within 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's it, uh, release the bungs and you're 